115 pounds, wearing white trunks with trunks with black trim. He brings a perfect record, 20 round one, 12 round title fight. A lot of adjustments to be made by both these fighters. Both these fighters can handle them side. They both can fight inside the pocket. So, I'm a, you know, what do you do, Tess, when you first go out? And, you know, temperature. And I think that's what these guys are going to do right off the gate. Do. Nobody's diving right in, although Maloney is having some success. When he is well, tracked Maloney, by CompuBox, he loves to be the way punch is thrown per round. His accuracy is 43% of his punches are body shots. And now to the inside, whereas a right hand comes to that. Test, that's exactly what Franco is doing. He's, he's checking the tip of Maloney. He's trying to gather distance and the speed. And eventually, he's just... Transition test with Maloney, how present, and then you see him move and get out of the way by Maloney. Well, schooled boxing. Yeah, he's got good, shoots it out straight, gets it back. Nothing's fat, nothing's loose. Nice and tight. Very tight. But, you know, most part of this round, he comes around. He was. Four connected punches out of 29, 66 in a well-managed opening round. Josh is at the moment, you know, he's, like I said, in the beginning, a few rounds, timing down. But he better not be waiting too long in these rounds. He won the first round, I thought, fairly easy. Maloney, the belt holder at 115 pounds in the WBA. No. You know, it almost seems like Franco is he's patient right now. And he's comfortable in there. So that way he, he can set him up. More combination work from Andrew Maloney. I saw his option, dip to the left, place that left hand. Stop by catching. About 10 seconds ago that he can land against Maloney. And there he is, attempts it again. That's the problem that Maloney has. Nice counter right there from Franco and Maloney fly pass and then catch. Yeah, Franco set up this right, this left uppercut of Maloney. It's down there, and then he pops him up with the uppercut. The head after missing with the right hand because as he came through, he didn't overextend with him until he removed it just before the left uppercut then came in. He, he lined it up. And swung away. You know, it looked like he's, he's winning on points, but the one that's now is Franco. Now, obviously, with the fanless atmosphere and the microphones we have everywhere, you pick up the little guys at 115 pounds, but you hear the thud. Casting remotely and also without any audience difference. I have to say, Maloney doesn't belong range with Franco. Franco is very combinations. Blazing, sharp, crisp combinations. Australian title is searching for that right. Nice hook right there from Maloney. The Maloney brothers, the twin brothers, and now we get to see them. Tim, I got a chuckle last night when we were on our Zoom call. Here's all you guys spar against each other. If it ever came to it, would you ever go in and the answer you would always get with that, but that wasn't what we got. We got the answer. Tess, that just let me know that these gentlemen are businessmen. That bread. It was a good left hand to the body. Takes that dip in that angle. A change in strategy. I told you there's going to be a lot of adjustments right now. You know, in the inside, in pressure. Maloney. Go out right there from Maloney. Head 
has found its mark here in round number four for Andrew Maloney. Franco goes with a nice left to the belt line. Commentary. He's landing 45% of his body punches. Remember, we noted being body shots. Right now, he's at 46%. And your old Australian undefeated at 21 and 0 against Joshua to target. And right there, right there, right there. Andrew Maloney, the WBA belt. Tess, he's very disciplined with his approach. You know, boom call. You know, he said that I love to study body. Stop, stop, Julio stop. Julio Cesar Chavez. Manuel Marquez. That explains to me why he's digging that left hand down. Stop, stop. Nice. At mid-range, I'll tell you. Franco put those combinations. You get back to that inside attack at mid-range. It's... You know, we land combinations, and then you'll see him pull out. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You see Franco right there. He measures with that lead hand. He wants to land against Maloney. Tonight from Mexico City with Miguel Burchelt. This past Saturday night when Emmanuel Navarrete Dominated Yurish Sanchez knockout. It is unbelievable. Stop, stop, stop. SCP will be coming up after why. our main event here. Good news of a world champion, Jamel Herring. Changes here in round number six. Not set, ready to punch. That's why you see Franco have success. Not realizing that he's you know, out of harm's way to me. That's just from habit, doing it in previous fights and then training. You're up in the air, you have to come down to punch. Or how about well, that's something that has to be taught. That's that's something that has to be taught in the gym. Right, right, right hand, right capping around the MGM Grand Conference Center and telling Joshua Franco fire him a bit. A bit, Tim. He's got to avoid the right. Simply come from the same side of punches thrown from you. See the punch thrown to the body there a little bit quicker. And on the money with his. All right, you see the shift begin it to fight with Franco and dig down back out. Just really consistent with his work. Very accurate. <laughs> I have to Tito. You get to see Maloney tonight, but Sherwin and Cajas is another guy. And then Juan Francisco Estrada is very talented. And then Timmy come this weekend. 1,400 more punches in their trilogy. Negrete was supposed to anything. Have with Negrete. They combine to throw over here in round number eight. The pressure from Franco and lift his head up. And what did Franco do? Hands go at mid range and on the inside. Franco. You know, and just accurate. Maloney, yeah, he's landing combinations. Pinpointed shots are coming from Franco. Clap coming to the end of round number eight. Four rounds to go. Yeah, Franco did have some, some good work. You know, he was uh, seemingly in control. Some of the observers following along here have seen it five to three. They had a lot of success early on with the body work. Also had that solid uppercut in the second round and the last couple rounds. He is at this point and just at that moment, Andrew's twin and brother. First time in America, maybe he's got to do that more. And it's interesting from his brother Jason of, hey, let's, let's go for it here. It's happening his way. That's a style of... Accomplished here, round number 10. Franco, as he was bet down to a minus 160. 
you know, this fight is really hard at finding his spots in Maloney, and then you have to come forward. It definitely was a slip, but, you know, that takes a lot out of you, especially when you're fighting. And you see right away. Closes that gap. Fires a series of punches. You can see some blood around the line. And moments ago as Franco picks up the pace, pressure. Franco needs to go down to the body, Tess. That's where he needs to go. He needs to could be over, Tess. He is in control right now here in round number 10. Franco, big 10th round for the American hopeful. Yeah, that's what confirming that they saw it as a punch causing that as well. It's to go. Could Joshua Franco take this? Maloney's in trouble here. Came here unbeaten with the duck. We told you a live dog looking for the upset here. Goes underneath with the right hand. So if he wants to survive this round. Now closing that distance in that red corner. There's a right hand that comes in. Maloney's doing a good job with his movement right now, buying himself a stand. And when you get knocked down like that and get hit with shots, you know, you're lit. Franco looking for that right hand again up top through Maloney. Three punch cop. Now neglecting the body. He needs to go down to the body if he wants to stop. He sits directly in front of him where he needs him to be so he can land. The title, you heard the corner of Andrew Maloney and Andrew Hyde. He just had a 10-8 round go against him. You can make it so he had a huge 10th round as well. And now he's in control here. Two and a half minutes away. Four-year-old who worked so hard to get at both 115 and 118 pounds. He said, Tim, he said, I could tell this is the most prepared. So many other fighters have struggled with all the COVID restrictions. Felt in his heart that he's gonna get a call sooner or later. And it says that the most disciplined fighter during this time is the one that's gonna be tonight. You can see the discipline that Franco because he is putting it on this champion right now. Of course, increase the pressure and then has real. You know, you know, Franco feels it. You, you see the smile in his face. I know he's in total control of this bout. You know, you got to give Maloney credit going down and getting up. You know, he's behaving like a fighter, like a champion, supposed to. Nice Maloney. combination there by Maloney. Good work. Damage and knocked down in the 11th, but finishing up well here in the 12th. Andrew Maloney. Back half of this title fight was wild.